and we are back in the Rich and Ratchet kitchen. So, what I like to do, so this is the sec first marinade that we have, right? The Blasian Barbecue Mix. So this we're gonna set aside, right? And we're gonna go with my just Italian seasoning, just basicness to it. So we have our other bag right here, uh, the chicken. And what I like to do, I need to grab my olive oil, because you know we're Italian, right? We're in Italy, Sicily, honey. Okay, so I like to just drizzle, you know, some olive oil in there. And then we have the remaining garlic that we chopped up from the fresh ingredients. Throw that in there. And then we have some black pepper. The black pepper, honey. One pinch, two, okay? That's all you need. We got some rosemary, we got our herbs. Fresh herbs. I mean, these are not really fresh, but get them from the garden if you can. If you have like a garden, uh, just get your, these are just dried rosemary. Mary, Mary. This is the best too. Um, throw that in there. And we got our oregano, so that's all we need right here. Mm, okay. Is dank. Not really. Uh, it's just oregano. But this recipe gonna be dank, okay? So, throw in like two pinches, and then what I like to do is just add some juice, some flavor again. So I grab myself some oranges, right? I'm gonna chop these up. Chop style, right? So we got our oranges here. And I can't forget sea salt this time since um, we just need a little bit of salt, just all the different flavors. So this brings the sweetness, the citrus. Oh yeah, squeeze. Throw that there, repeat again. Just squeeze at the same time. Get some oranges. Doing it, doing it, doing it, wow. These are juicy. Get all the juice out, girl. One more again, one more again. Squeeze. It's all dripping on me. She's a mess, honey, she's a mess. Okay, and a little bit of sea salt. So this is uh, just a teaspoon of sea salt. Throw that in there, and this is pretty much all complete. So you have the garlic, again, that brings out the flavors. You have the black pepper, sea salt, rosemary, oregano, and a little bit of that orange. So that citric acid on these things will just sweeten it up, feel like you've eaten in Tuscany. I've never been, or Milan, honey, Milan. These are my Milan. My Italian grandmother that I wish I had showed me this recipe. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's all you have it. So these are my two marinades. This is marinade 101 meal prepping. And then simply put, uh, just let it sit for like half an hour in the refrigerator. And then if you want to cook it, uh, just do pan sear on the stove. I like to use a cast iron and you just pan sear it on both sides, medium to high heat. Uh, just make sure that the chicken, you know, is at 165 internally, and that's all you do. And with the flavors, um, you throw one into the freezer. Uh, the bags, you let, just let it sit and unthaw for the next time you want to cook it. And then again, pan sear it if you want, throw it in the oven or do the barbecue on the grill and see how it goes. So. That is the episode. It's super simple, super marinating. Get some ingredients together, liquids, all of that, honey, all of that. And that is what it's all about. So, as always, if you like this episode, share it, please. Share it so to let everybody know, everybody, everybody in the club. Um, and then, 
as always, you know, just get to my site, mrjanejacobs.com, have some fun in the kitchen, try these recipes out, post them on Instagram with the hashtag Mr. Jane Jacobs, you know, or Rich and Ratchet Kitchen. Do the hashtag Rich and Ratchet Kitchen, actually. And share your recipes with me because I want to see what you guys do in the kitchen as well uh, to make your life that much easier. And that is a wrap. As always, be proud, be courageous, be unlimited. Ha <laughs> ha